time to take a look at our uh, Guardian starting pitcher. That'll be Tristan McKenzie. He will make his 30th start on the year. Tristan 11 and 11, and he's tuning up for Saturday. And uh, he's been right on target. Boy, his last start against Tampa, he went six innings, just three hits, one run allowed, only one walk and six strikeouts. And uh, he's uh, four and two with a 2.79 over uh, eight starts against Kansas City in his career. And McKenzie will face MJ Melendez, who's had a good series, five for 13 with three doubles. And McKenzie has him out in front, and the throw goes over to the Royals' dugout. Jimenez never got his feet set and threw it right by Owen Miller, and MJ will be safe after a collision. The left handed hitter, Vinny Pasquintino. Now the set, now the pitch, fastball, and he looked at it for strike three. So that's the first strikeout for McKenzie, and it's out number two. So a runner on. Here's the DH, Edward Olivares. Here it comes. Runner goes. Pitch is taken. Throw down to second. Tag made in time by Jimenez. So Melendez with a head first slide, not able to get in. And so the Royals not able to score, and the Guardians coming to bat here in inning number one. Granke is facing Cleveland for the fourth time this year and he's been tremendous every time Cleveland has seen him. Two down for Jose Ramirez switch hitter batting left handed. He's ready and delivers and Ramirez swings and pops it up a mile high. Waters wants it battling that win but makes the catch and Granke perfect in the first three fly ball outs. We head to inning number two. It's the Royals nothing and the Guardians nothing. The DH and cleanup hitter Edward Olivares. He was batting last inning when Melendez was caught trying to steal. Oh, man. hard hit. That's a knock off of Arias's glove, and Olivares is on to begin the second. Here's Michael Massey, the left-handed hitting second baseman. Olivares got a good jump, and that's ripped into right field. Olivares had his head down, so he stopped at second base, and now he advances to third. And the Royals have runners at the corners with nobody out. Runners at second and third now two down. Drew Waters batting left-handed. Shattered bat. Get there. And nobody covers. There's the run. So talk about not being heads up. Miller and McKenzie haven't dealt with a slower ground ball all season, I'm sure. That was about as easy and out as they were going to have if they could get on the same page. And Kansas City gets a gift run because Cleveland doesn't execute what should have been the third out in the inning. One nothing Royals runners at the corners for Kyle Isbell. The pitch to the number nine hitter and right fielder and he sends a floater into right near the line. This could be trouble but no. Brennan charging in makes the catch. So a gift run for Kansas City. And they lead Cleveland one to nothing in the middle of inning number two. Bottom of the third inning, it's a one nothing ball game. Right-handed hitting Gabriel Arias will line the first pitch over the leaping Massey, the second baseman, into right center, played out there by Isbell. And Arias has a leadoff single, the second hit of the night for Cleveland here in inning number three. Runner on, one out. Miles Straw, the number nine hitter. Oh, nice. Driving a base hit right field nice. for Miles Straw. That's going to send Arias all the way to third and Guardians at the corners with nobody out. Now you get back to the top of the lineup and trying to tie the ball game up. First and third and one out. Top of the order, Stephen Kwan flied to left his first time up. The second baseman, Michael Massey. Not going to turn that. They get the force, but the tying run scores give Stephen Kwan RBI number 52. Here's Oscar Gonzalez. Bases loaded, two down. Slow curve, and down he goes. He struck him out with the bases loaded. That curveball, 69 miles an hour. Zach gets his first strikeout on the night, and he leaves the bases loaded. But Cleveland does tie the game. We head to the sixth. This game still tied at one. As we go to the sixth inning. The new pitcher is Cody Morris. The new catcher is Bo Naylor. Tristan McKenzie has a terrific tune-up, going five and innings he gave up one run it was earned but it was a gift run four hits allowed four strikeouts no walks really good outing for Tristan McKenzie now Bobby Witt Jr. will lead it off Morris fastball cutter curve changeup three and two in the pitch and Bobby lines it into center. That's a base hit in front of Miles Straw. And Bobby Witt on for the first time tonight. Good time here for his 30th stolen base. Shift to the right for the left-handed hitting Vinny Pasquantino. There he goes. Pasquantino takes outside. And the throw is not in time. Stolen base number 30. 
So Bobby Wood Jr. becomes the fifth rookie all time with a 20 home run, 30 stolen base season. And the first since Mike Trout. Now the 3 2. High and he walked him. So that's as good a bat as you'll see. Rookie, rookie matchup. And again, Pasquintino is aboard. Runners now at the corners. One down in a 1 1 game. Michael Massey, a left handed hitter out of the University of Illinois. He lines it to right. Brennan's got it. Here's the throw. And Bobby's going to be in there safe on a sack fly. So Michael Massey down in the count 0 and 2 made contact. And Bobby Wood Jr. Puts the Royals in front 2-1. Massey, good job getting that run home. That is his 16th Major League RBI. Two to one Royals, runner at second, two down, sixth inning. And Morse with a payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Naylor picks it up, tags out Dozier. The strikeout by Morris completes the inning. But two down, two to one Royals. Here's Gabriel Arias. Tying run at third, two down, the pitch. To short. Bobby Witt can't handle it. And the Guardians tie the game. Witt charging, went for the short hop pick, and it didn't stick in the glove. And by the time he recovered, Ari is able to beat out the play at first, and Gonzalez scoring from third. Now let's see if Bo Naylor says, oh yeah, you want to face me? Watch this. Rinky from the belt deals. Slow curve, fly ball. Shallow center. In comes Taylor. He wants it. He's got it. And the inning is over. But the E6 helps Cleveland tie the game. Zach Grinke, though, gets through six innings here in his final start of 2022. He was good tonight. We head to the 10th inning of play here in Cleveland. Tied at two. Nicky Lopez will start the 10th inning at second base. Kirk McCarty, second inning of work. The number seven hitter, Michael Taylor, 0 for 3. And Taylor grounds it up the middle. Arias is going to go to third, and the ball gets away from Ramirez. And the ball was in and out of the glove of Ramirez. So the Royals, just like that, have him at the corners now with nobody down, and Drew Waters coming up. Taylor's on at first, and then Lopez is safe at third on the throwing error by Arias. Nobody out. Drew Waters batting right handed. Now the 1 2. Swung on hammered deep to left down the line it goes it is a three run home run for Drew Waters if he continues to play just against Cleveland the rest of his career he'll be in Cooperstown five major league homers for Drew Waters four against Cleveland three this series a majestic three run blast down the left field line onto the porch and the Royals lead it five to two. Bottom of the 10th inning and Taylor Clark will try to end this ball game. Two down runner at third five to two Kansas City in the 10th. Here's Andre Jimenez. 0 and two and the pitch and a swing and a foul tip strikeout. And that's the final out of the inning, and the Royals win this ball game 5 to 2 over Cleveland. The Royals win in 10 innings, and a hard fought win tonight. A great start for Zach Grinke. Grinke tonight giving the Royals six innings, two runs, one earned, laying the foundation for this extra inning win. And then Drew Waters, the extra inning hero with a three run homer in the 10th. Royals win it in 10 innings, 5 to 2.